Right, so for all of those Labour figures that have spoken in favour of a ceasefire now, from various Metro mayors to MPs, even shadow cabinet ministers now, now including even the shadow Secretary of State for Justice, there's an irony, Keir Starmer has thus far only suspended one MP from the party, and of course, as you might have guessed, it was a left lefty member of the Socialist campaign group that got suspended. Even now, when Starmer is on his backside over his pathetic position that promotes anything but peace, he can't help but blatantly and factionally attack those left-wingers remaining in his party, the moment he sniffs an opportunity to do so. But what makes this one even more ridiculous is that the MP in question, Andy MacDonald, has been suspended over something that he never said. Right, so what's the crack then, Damo? What did Andy MacDonald say, and what is it that he's accused of saying that didn't? Well, we're back to that phrase again, that summer calling anti-Semitic, the summer calling hate speech, the phrase, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Andy MacDonald stands accused of saying it, yet actually he didn't. But even if he had, it's not like there's anything wrong, like the pro-Israel lobbyists keep making it out that there is. What is so scary about that phrase? What is so racist about it anyway? Nothing. It simply means from the River Jordan in the east to the Mediterranean in the west, Palestine will be free. Let's face it, they aren't free. If you watch me regularly, I've done enough content on this over the last few weeks that I hope nobody disputes the fact these people in Gaza and in the West Bank are very much not free, and they are Palestine. The only people who could possibly be frightened by that phrase are those who would keep those people oppressed, who would keep them imprisoned in the world's largest concentration camp that is the Gaza Strip. To be against that phrase is to be against basic rights of freedom. So if you are against that phrase, if you are saying it is wrong, or it is racist, or it is a message of terror, then I have nothing but the utmost contempt for you. What a foul individual you must be. And I count so many of our own politicians amongst that. Keir Starmer, the obvious one. The likes of Peter Mandelson, just this morning, who dared to compare on GMB, Good Morning Britain, that the fight against Hamas was exactly like the fight against the IRA. And that peace was only achieved in Northern Ireland because the IRA were defeated. No. People got around the table. The Good Friday Agreement came into being. How dare you compare these two situations? Especially when you were elbows deep in Blair's administration at the time. And you damn well no different, you hollow husk of a man. GMB should be rinsed for even having him on. Why the heck do we care what the mate of a child sex trafficker has to say unless he's being asked just what was your involvement with Jeffrey Epstein? Anyway, I've digressed. Andy McDonald. If you aren't familiar with the chap, he's generally one of the more quietly spoken, loyal members of the Labour left. He was the last former Corbyn front bencher to finally leave the front bench under Keir Starmer's regime. He stuck it out in the name of unity, but also to keep ideals such as social justice and notably promoting peace on the party agenda for as long as he could. Finally resigning in 2021, when Starmer ordered him to give a speech to trade unionists, I believe it was, basically you turning on Starmer's commitment for a proper living wage. Andy refused to do Starmer's dirty work for him and returned to the back benches. Principal guy, good guy, decent fella, a rarity in the Labour Party now. Promoting peace is especially relevant if you can cast your mind back to those now long since cast away 10 leadership pledges to Keir Starmer, where pledge number four to promote peace and human rights read no more illegal wars, introduce a prevention of military intervention act and put human rights at the heart of foreign policy, review all UK arms sales and make us a force for international peace and justice. It only takes a cursory look at what Starmer has said about Israel to know this was a crock of shit, but he never meant a word of it. And now Andy MacDonald has been suspended for allegedly saying at the pro-Palestine demo in London on Saturday that Starmer, of course, didn't want any of his lot attending, but which a great many members and elected officials had chosen to ignore for allegedly saying, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Nothing wrong with that if that was what he said, except that he didn't. He actually said... We won't rest until all people, Israelis and Palestinians, between the river and the sea, can live in peaceful liberty. Starmer jumped and acted before he knew the facts. The McDonald said this was reported in the Murdoch Times, who later issued a correction. But not before Starmer reacted to suspend and then probably wondered if Murdoch would let him write another column in the scum about it afterwards. Oh, he's sure to be happy with me, he must have thought. No such correction from Starmer has been forthcoming, unfortunately, though. How predictable. MacDonald himself has issued a statement, though, saying, I am saddened to have received the news from the opposition chief whip that I have been placed under precautionary suspension for a period of three months, which is reviewable pending an investigation by the Labour Party. Throughout the past two days, there has been a number of misrepresentations of my words in the media. These have furthered 
baseless and extremely harmful accusations against me, which I feel obliged to respond to now, in order to avoid any more errors in the press. In my speech on Saturday, I said the following, until all people, Israelis and Palestinians, between the river and the sea, can live in peaceful liberty. These words should not be construed in any other way than they were intended, namely, as a heartfelt plea for an end to the killings in Israel, Gaza and the occupied West Bank, and for all the people in the region to live in freedom without the threat of violence. I will be happy to explain these views to the investigation when it convenes, and trust that the whip will be restored. In the meantime, for the sake of humanity, I hope and pray that we see an end to the war in Gaza as steps are taken towards lasting peace. Suspending Andy MacDonald over this is not just deeply offensive, it's dangerous too. It's him today for saying something similar, it only takes another right-wing smear merchant to claim one thing and Starmer acts before he has the facts. He's shown that that's how he works, and even after a correction was issued by his favourite right-wing media baron's horrid paper, the suspension stands, and it stands for three months. Go ahead, vote Labour, put Starmer in power. It'll be your right to share McDonald's sentiment there that'll be stripped from you next. The Labour Muslim Network have called this out. You wonder how much influence they'd have too under a future Starmer government, but still, they came out backing Andy MacDonald, saying, The suspension of the Labour whip to Andy MacDonald MP today is both obscene and deeply offensive. The fundamental right to live in peace with liberty and self-determination is one which should be applied to all peoples. The only conclusion that can be drawn is that those who have made this decision do not see Palestinian and Muslim life as deserving of this fundamental principle. And they're right. How else can you read it? We need far more Andy McDonald's and far fewer Keir Starmer's as a result. Solidarity to Andy. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Please do also have your say in the comments below and be part of the conversation. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation where Diane Abbott, who has been suspended for far longer than Andy McDonald appears to be destined to be, is adamant Starmer is arranging matters to force her out and... Will that be the reality of Andy McDonald's fate, do you wonder? It does make you think. And I'll hopefully see you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.